We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. I'm Bill Hurst doing the photography. I own the uh, Highland Hill Farm. And this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. Mike is one of the premier growers that we use here at Highland Hill Farm. We also grow a lot of arborvitas, but we, we uh, are supplied by Mike. He's right across the street from our nursery and our, our operation. And Mike is, is an expert on raising arborvitas. Mike went and graduated from the Longwood School in uh, uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. And he's a, a premier grower in Pennsylvania, world-renowned grower. Now, I shouldn't say that, but that is the truth. Everyone in the northeast Pennsylvania and the uh, eastern seaboard who raises arborvitas and, and nursery stock knows Mike Lewis here. So he's well known. And he's going to talk to you today about arborvita trimming and how to trim them properly. And these are small arborvitas, a zebrina, green giant, and an emerald green. Okay, Mike. All right. What you want to do with your arborvitae is when you prune them, you want to encourage them to have a single stem. Just one stem coming up out of the middle, like right here. What you want to do is knock back some of these extra stems. Here in the Northeast, we get a lot of wet, heavy snow, and if you have too many stems, they have a tendency to pull apart. Most of the time, they'll spring back, but sometimes you might get some breakage. So what we like to do is take the head shears and knock these tips back just a little bit, which will encourage a fuller, fatter plant, as well as keeping it up into a single stem. In school, we were always taught when in doubt, cut it out. So you always want to, don't be afraid to take a little bit of, of foliage off the tree. Here, none of these plants, branches will come up into a single stem anymore, or into a multiple stem. You cut them back, this stem will dominate. Here on the Green Giant, we're going to do the same thing. Just, this is a fairly full plant, so we're just going to tip it back all the way around. to make a nice, fat, heavy plant. On Green Giants, we get a lot of vigorous growth, so you always want to make sure you just knock your tips back just a little bit because they'll stretch out because they grow so fast. On the Emerald Greens, it's a much fatter, fuller plant, so you don't have to shear them nearly as hard. Just tip them back, go around the plant, and again, you have a couple little stems developing here. Just trim it back so you just have one stem coming up to the top, and that'll make a nice full plant, which is what you want. Okay. That's it. Have a good day at Highland Hill Farm. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll see you. These are Thuja Placata Zebrina on sale, fall 2009. These are our 36 inch emerald greens, real nice full plants in a number 5 pot. These are on sale in fall of 2009. These are three to four foot green giants in a number three pot at Highland Hill Farm. These are 30 to 36 inch steed hollies. These are in a number three pot. They're, they're 30 to 36 inches tall. And we have quite a few of these. These are a real nice little border and hedging plant to get this to be about five foot high. This is just a little walking tour of some of the trees and shrubs that we have in our yard that you can come and look at on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We have thousands of trees, plants, and These are our three to four foot Leland cypresses in a number five pot. They're on sale 2009, fall of 2009. These are green luster hollies. These are $18 each, fall of 2009 price.